The last of the clipped hair has been swept up, and a barber shop in East Denver is now closed after 65 years. But before they locked the door, Brian Moss stopped by and found the definition of old school. I've cut wh Wizzy's hair since he was in junior high, probably. <laughs> it's so old school, it's not even called a barber shop, but a tonsorial parlor. That's good, Jim. I'm glad to hear that. That's good. And Dick Alderson has worked at O'Brien's since it opened at 8th and Birch in 1953, taking over ownership decades ago. 65 years of clipping, cutting, and talking sports. Oh, I was not for the Dodgers. They like us, they like the haircuts, and they like us. And we get along, and it's a friendly, good, easy, nice place to come, and people like to come here. It's just overwhelming. People like Bob Lineberger, who first came when he was a high school sophomore. He's now 82 years old. So I've been coming in here since 1953. Never been in another barbershop. But the development around the old barber shop is relentless, leading to rising rent. And Alderson says at 84 years old, it's time to step away. It's, it's too hard standing for nine, 10 hours a day in one spot. It gets pretty hard when you get old. There's never been anything upscale or sparkly new about Dick's shop. Not the soda machine, not the throwback decorations reminding us of a simpler and easier time. Not many little places like this left, mom and pop gone. But that mom and pop feel, <laughs> the sense of community here is exactly what kept people coming here for nearly seven decades. I hate to say goodbye to those guys because uh, they're, they're wonderful people and they've been loyal to us and stuck with us forever. Thank you so much. You're as You've good been as such it gets. a great friend. I don't know what to say. I'm going to miss you, Steve. Funny. That's what all Dick Alderson's customers say about him. We won't be coming back uh, yeah. up yeah. 6th Avenue tomorrow yeah. morning. I'll walk it up. I guess nothing yeah. lasts forever, but we almost did. What a run, huh? That was Brian Moss reporting. Now, although Dick closed the shop, he is having an open house tomorrow so he can thank his customers for 65 wonderful years. I have a feeling it'll be packed. I would hope you? so.